at the start of Football Manager 2024, you will find Rodrigo Ribeiro as part of Sporting's B team. He is 18 years old and has been capped at under 20 level for Portugal. At the start of the game, he's valued at just 1.1 to 3.3 million pounds. He plays predominantly as a striker, but can also play wide right and can also play wide left, although he is not a natural in that position. Looking at his attributes, he has 13 for pace, 14 natural fitness, 13 acceleration and 13 agility to start the game as an 18 year old. In the mentals, flair of 14, determination of 13, off the ball of 12, work rate of 11. Then in the technicals, he has dribbling of 13, finishing of 11, first touch of 12, technique of 14 and passing of 11. He comes with some player traits to start the game, likes to beat the opponent repeatedly and runs with the ball. This is a player that's been around for a few Football Manager games now and he's one that is sure to develop into a bit of a world star. So let's jump forward five years into his career and see exactly how he develops in FM24. It's now 2028, we have jumped five years forward and Rodrigo Ribeiro is still at Sporting. He's 23 years old and has represented Portugal's under-21s 18 times, scoring five goals. He's valued by Sporting at 4.1 to £12.5 million and has a contract that runs through to 2031. Looking at the player himself, he hasn't developed as well as I thought he would. I don't know whether it's a lack of first-team football maybe, but the physicals, the mentals and the technicals all pretty much look exactly the same as what they were. If we go to his player traits, we can see that he has developed a few more now, runs with the ball often, cuts inside from the left wing and that goes with likes to beat the opponent repeatedly and likes to beat the offside trap. Looking at his playing time to see how he has developed, you can see it's been a journey of B team, main team, B team and then finally in the 24-25 season he broke through into the first team however he wasn't getting that much game time only 10 appearances in his first season scoring twice 10 appearances in the 25-26 season and finally in the 27-28 season he would play 12 times and score one goal so the lack of first team football is probably holding him back It'd be interesting to see if we jump five years further forward to see if he has made a move somewhere else to get first team football or if he has cracked it at Sporting. So we have jumped five years further forward. It's 2033 and we find Rodrigo Ribeiro is now at Ajax. He's 28 years old, still hasn't broken into the Portugal first team and Ajax value him at 22 to 66 million pounds. He has a contract there that runs until 2035. He has shown a little bit of development in terms of his physicals. He has pretty good set of physicals with agility, acceleration, natural fitness and pace standing out in the mentals. He's developed a little bit in terms of determination, flair and off the ball, but no massive improvement and in the technicals dribbling a 15 finishing a 14 first touch of 14 and technique of 16 if we go to his playing time to see how he has developed we see that he actually left sporting to go to luton once he got to luton in the 28 29 season he played 15 times scoring five goals in the championship in the following season he became a true first teamer playing 45 times scoring 16 goals and in the 30 31 season he scored 28 goals in 46 games that prompted a move to Ajax on a free transfer since he's been there he played 26 times and scored nine in the first season and in the final season just before we came back 33 appearances and 19 goals with nine assists proves that he can make it at the top level even if he has took a bit of an odd path to get there so at the age of 28 he's finally getting first team football scoring goals for Ajax but will he stick it out there will we come back in five years time and see that he has continued to score goals or will he go somewhere else and try and get first team football at another team let's jump five years further forward and see what happens to Rodrigo Ribeiro So it's now 2038, we have jumped five years further forward and we find Rodrigo Ribeiro is at Lille. 
Not only is he at Lille, at the age of 33 he has decided to switch his national allegiances and he now represents Holland. He's played one time for the Dutch national team. He's valued at 12 to 36 million pounds and has a contract that runs until 2039. Looking at the player, he is an absolute steady Eddie. At the age of 33 he is not going to get any better but he doesn't seem to be getting any worse either and his consistency must be commended as he still looks the same player from 10 years ago. If we go into his history to look at how his playing time has developed, so he stayed at Ajax for a number of years, being a first team regular until the 36-37 season where he only played six times. Then he went out on loan to Lille where he played a season 14 games, 3 goals and a 7 average rating and then a £21.5 million move to Lille for, to have 22 appearances and 3 goals in the 37-38 season. If we look at his milestones to see what he has won across his career then. So going all the way back to his Portuguese roots uh, nothing really with sporting as he didn't really make the grade there in the first team but once he went to Luton he was relegated from the championship uh, he went to Ajax where he won the Eredivisie and the Johan Cruyff Scal they were, they were runners up the following season before winning the Eredivisie three times more in a row he then made his international debut against Switzerland at the age of 31 for Holland in the awards he has won lots of seasonal best 11s. He was named in Lutons. He was named in Ajaxes a number of times. Golden Boot third place there. He won the Willy van der Krulen trophy, a runner-up. More team of the weeks, another runners-up trophy. Named in the seasonal best 11. Golden Boot third. Third place in the Willy van der Krulen trophy, third place. Uh, seasonal best 11s. Liga 1, Uber Eats, Team of the Week, Seasonal Best 11s for Lille. So overall, it's been a pretty average career for Rodrigo Ribeiro. He did have a big spell where he didn't play a lot of first team football, which kind of hindered his development early on. But once he got to Luton and he played those first 45 games, he didn't look back. Seven average ratings for some of the seasons, highest of 7.32. He scored 160 goals across 412 games and got a career average rating of 7.05. So all in all, he has actually gone on to have a brilliant career. It didn't hit the heights that I thought it might. And considering that he has been a wonder kid for a number of games, he probably is one that is going to have to develop a little bit more to continue being in the top bracket of Wonder Kids going forward in the games. But he's still one. If you need a striker who's going to score your goals and you invest in him early and give him that first team football, I think he will be absolutely fantastic for you. Right then, if you're still with me at this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you could hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, I really would appreciate it. Cannot thank you all enough for coming, interacting, dropping comments, leaving likes. It's all been fantastic. Uh, before you go, don't forget there are other things on the channel. We have Let's Plays, Hints, Tips, Tutorials, Wonder Kids. If you need something, there will be something for you on the channel, I am sure. But for this one, I'm going to leave it there. Big thank you for watching. See you on another video very soon.